my influences for music now were probably like from my teenagers when I was listening to like Amy Winehouse, nice. the Black Keys, the Antlers. But it wasn't just like musicians that influenced me, it was really like my family and people around me and stuff like moving out for the first time and how I dealt with that. When I first saw him, I thought, oh boy, the person that's going to have him, it's going to be difficult, but it really is not. Well, the first time I saw him was in a picture and I thought I was kind of scared of him. He cracks a lot of jokes. I don't know, he's just smart. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm Mark Goffney. I'm a professional guitarist and I play guitar with my toes. I'm on a journey to find inspiration for my new album by meeting exciting British artists who are also shaping their lives through music. I meet with Izzy Bizu, who tells me how she found the confidence to go solo. Izzy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your career's doing awesome. I just, Thank you. I, it's very soulful. Things in your in your music, I, especially I was really liking White Tiger and. Thank you. You have you have a deep soulfulness in your music. What sort of influences did you pick up from my childhood, like Marvin Gaye and um, Ella Fitzgerald? which my mum used to play like a lot. But it wasn't just like musicians that influenced me, it was really like my family and people around me and stuff like moving out for the first time and how I dealt with that. It was just life, like experiences as well. That's yeah. good that you know you had your musical influences but you had your real life influences. Yeah, like there'd be a metaphor of how I would feel. I understand you were in a girl band, now you're a solo artist. Oh, Do you I miss see. the camaraderie of like being in a band? Jamming with two singers to just you being by yourself, mm -hmm. like, okay, this is what lights on you. And I was a bit like weird about it. Like always love songwriting, but I was like, oh my God, oh my God, this is crazy. Actually, it's interesting. When I, when I started playing music, I was in like a hard rock band and sort of Really? Like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Wicked Misfit was the name of my band. That's a good name. <laughs> it was cool. Is that when you first played guitar? Yeah, I started when I was 12. <laughs> Who taught you? Did, you? did you teach yourself or? At first I did teach myself. And, wow. and, and I was sort of doing it wrong. I actually played left-handed. I didn't know that I'm right. Footed, handed. Wow, that's really incredible. Maybe I'll get to jam for you later, I hope. I would really love to see that. That would be amazing. A lot of us artists have been discussing <laughs> lately about the idea of, you know, we get something that's really good, but we always yeah. want to build from that. Where do you see yourself building in, into the future? I was talking to my guitarist last night, and we just kind of was just like, you know what, we just want to go back into a, into a bedroom and just and jam and just be live. and get back to the root sort of thing because that's what we love the most like constantly recreating and not trying to live in that world that you've already been in so finding like almost like another parallel universe that you haven't seen yet so constantly discovering I I, i've learned a lot from you actually is you've got some great great philosophies i feel a little bit of a, a relating with you and not not necessarily that our roles were the same but mm. to sort of redefine yourself as a young adult and be yeah. like this is I think it's a, it's a tough journey, but I think you're going to be able to really kick ass doing it. I, I really do. I can tell just meeting you that you have the grit to get through it. It's really nice. Like, I, I reflect on everything and I'm just like, don't regret a thing. And that's just, I think all those components are just so, so beautiful and just made me learn so much. And yeah, I'm, no, I'm really happy and I'm, I'm, I'm constantly excited to see what's going to happen. Find my way home, couldn't find my cell phone, so I took a walk to the payphone up the block. Dialed on for the operator, said, Baby, would you help me find my way home? Can't find my cell phone. Sometimes my best gotta be just good enough. It's easier to fall down, it's easier to fall down. I hope that's enough. 